Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about that I can't swim. Matter of fact, I still can't swim. I'm not that embarrassed of talking to you guys about this little secret. I was at first because, you know, but I realized that I'm not alone. There's a lot of people out there that can't swim, and that's okay. That's all right. But I remember when I was a kid, I did take swimming lessons. Like, I remember I had this swimming teacher and there was just a bunch of kids, including myself. We all had to make a little circle and the teacher instruct us on the count of three, we had to both all dunk our heads in the water. And uh, everyone did it except for me. Just lied to them saying, yep, I did it. I can still dunk my face under the water now, but back then I was too scared to do it. I mean, could you blame me? <laughs> I'm, I'm too scared to do the most basic thing. I mean, I know holding your breath can be very essential when you, like, you know, go under the water, but some people can't hold their breath that long. I mean, there is a world record of someone holding their breath for, like, what, seven minutes? Lucky bastard. But some people aren't that lucky. Some people can't even hold their breath for more than two minutes. Whew. But anyway, first swimming lesson when I was a kid didn't work out. Second swimming lesson was different. It was just a private tutor with just me and my younger brother. This tutor ha gave me this little lesson of having these little toy tubes, little toy rings, put them under the water and seeing if I could just go down there and swim and grab them and give it to her. But I just did this cheap move and used my big toe and middle toe to just grab it to grab the little ring toys and give it to her. I thought I was the coolest person ever by doing that. I thought it was like the coolest thing ever, learning how to just grab things with your toes. I'm a, That may sound weird, but I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And my teacher told, um, also taught me, that tutor also taught me how to float using these little foamy devices, just grabbing them with both hands while I just floated under the on top of the water. And I was too scared to even f basically float f just for a few seconds. I thought someone was just going to drag me down and submerge me underwater. That's why I, I only floated just for a few seconds. On the, and then I'm like, okay, can, can I come down now? <laughs> so basic swimming lessons number two also didn't work out. And then after that, I just gave up. You know me, just giving up at the most easiest things I could possibly do. Swimming may sound, I mean, is, is swimming that easy for most people? I mean, I want to know in the comments below, do you think swimming is easy to you or is it harder for you? Because I knew, I, I knew a teacher back in high school. She said she knew how to, um, she didn't know how to swim, but she can float. I don't know how floating could be a good asset to you when you're out, when you're in the middle of the ocean, when there's no life de detected anywhere. Floating in the middle of the ocean, I don't know where that could get you. You can just be a basic like pool, pool, uh, a pool toy or something if you're floating there. But I guess she's kind of lucky if she learns how if she learned how to float or just floated naturally. But oh well, that's all right and. I always wonder, what would it be like if everyone around the world knew how to swim? Would that make life jackets useless? Well, not necessarily, because there's some toddlers that still need them just in case they want to learn how to swim and they would need to be safe nonetheless, and you grab life jackets anyway, so that's all right. But when it comes to, you know, staying in the water for me, I just like to stay in the shallow area. The only like farthest I can walk near like a swimming pool or the ocean is at least four feet, four or five feet. That's, I'm basically five foot seven and I can only walk near the water that is like closest to my height. But if it's like six feet or above, hell no, I'm not going that far. No, <laughs> that's all right. Because if I, if I needed to, go out there or something, I could use a life jacket or one of those little life donut things that lifeguards use to help keep um, drowning victims. You know, it's all right needing to needing to learn um, to use like some sort of thing that could help you, you know, stay afloat. 
there's no shame in using life jackets or um, life donut things or whatever. There's no shame in using them if you don't know how to swim. People shouldn't mock you just because you can't swim. Not everybody around the world knows how to swim and that's okay. It just means you need a little bit of help. And besides, if you're drowning, I'm sure somebody out there can, can hopefully save you. At least for the time being, I don't know. I'm not really good with, I know CPR, but I don't know if some people can be saved if they were just drowning or blah, blah, blah. You know, crazy things come in my head. All right, so. That's all I had to say for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.